Hi, this is Philip, the Love Quicksilver blog. Do you use all these? Would you like to change it to this? Then I'm going to show you how using the amazing power of Quicksilver and plain text files. Now, the first thing we need to do is create a plain text file. So I'm going to do that using Quicksilver. Invoke Quicksilver. My hotkey is set up as command space. Hit period to enter text mode and type the name of a text file. Tab to pane 2. Find the create file action. Tab to pane 3 and find a location. Note that my projects folder is inside my Dropbox folder. Hit enter. And the plain text file is created in pane 1. Now there's a special plugin we need to make sure we can use plain text files in the way that we need, and that's called the Text Manipulation Actions plugin. So I'm going to check if that's an installed. Go to Preferences, Plugins, All Plugins, Search for Text, and there it is. It's checked, so that means it's installed. Let's just make sure that all the actions available for that plugin are checked. Go to Preferences, Actions, Text Lines. There you see we have a pen text, prepen text, change text, and delete line. Now that says unstable, but I've been using it quite a lot recently. And I haven't had any problems so far, so I've gone ahead and checked all of those. Now to browse our text file, all we have to do is press the right arrow. And you can see it's just one line of text, and it's the same as the name of the file. Command left bracket to go back to the file. Now I want to add some text to that file, so I'm going to go ahead and tap to pane 2, find the append text action, and type into pane 3. I'm happy with that line, so I hit enter. And sure enough, the lines appeared in the text file. Now I want to add the date between the title and the first line of text. So it's simpler of a matter of selecting the first line in the text file. Append text again. Hit enter. And there you see the date's been inserted between the title and the first line of text. I don't think I need this title. The uh, title of the text file is sufficient, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. As you can see, the title of the text file is gone. Now, I'm not very happy with the uh, sentence that I typed. It's a little bit vague, so I'm going to change that. As you can see, uh, it comes up with pane 3 blank, which is uh, not so useful when you're editing text. So I'm going to copy text from pane 1 and paste it into pane 3. So I'm happy with those changes, hit enter. And there you can see the changes have been added to the text line. Now I'm going to be using that text file quite a lot. So I'm going to make sure it's in Quicksilver's catalog and I'm going to set up a trigger to access the contents of the file. So let's head over to Preferences, Catalog, Custom. The best way to add options to this list is to use Quicksilver. 
We'll do that now. Find my file. And simply drag it to the list. Now I could include contents and text lines, but I don't want all the lines in the file cluster in my catalog. So I'm going to leave that as none. And to access the file, I'm going to add a trigger instead. So head over to triggers. Hotkey. Find the file. And the action we want in Paint 2 is show contents. Hit enter. Hit the trigger column. And I'm going to use Control P for project. Double check there's no more triggers with the same hotkey combination. That should be good to go. And there you are, the contents of the text file straight into Quicksilver. Now, if you notice Evernote earlier, you'll see that it allows you to add text and files to notes. Now, plain text files are not known for their ability to show graphic images. But this being Quicksilver, almost anything is possible. So I'm going to show you how to add images to a plain text file. First, find an image that we need. I like this one, so I'm going to add that to my text file. And the way I'm going to do that is to get the path of the image using the get path action in Paint 2. Hit enter. And see the file has been converted into a plain text path that Quicksilver understands as an image. But we can still append that to our text file. Let's just check if that's worked. They see as well as our text, we have an image at the bottom of the text file. Now, just to prove that uh, that really is a text file and not something else, I'm going to find the file in Paint 1. And open it up in Text Edit. There you can see, it's just a plain text file with the path of the image at the bottom. Now another great app you might have noticed at the beginning is Notation of Velocity. This program is great because it allows you to search for previously made text notes. So I'm going to type solar. And it shows all the text notes with solar in the body or the title. If I carry on typing, if it doesn't find the text string within the notes, you can go ahead and create a new note. So that's a pretty useful feature. We can do pretty much the same thing using Quicksilver. Now there's a couple of options you need to check to make sure this works properly. We'll go to Preferences. Command. Make sure spacebar behavior is set to normal. And switch to text mode if no match is found is checked. Go into my file. Now if I start searching, I'll type solo and you see it pulls up all the text lines that have solar in them. If I type something new, such as solar flare, you see that it switches to text mode. So I can continue typing. And I want to add that to my file, so I'll append that now. Go back to my file, and there it is. 
So that's a great way of adding some of the functionality of notational velocity to Quicksilver. Now, as you see, we've got some images in our text file. I'm going to add some other kinds of objects to the text file. The first one is a URL. I've got a hotkey set up for Google search. I'm going to use that now. Search for Eclipse. And that opens up in my default browser, which is Chrome. Now I want to keep hold of this URL, so I'm going to add it to my text file. I have a little script for pulling the URL into Payne One Quicksilver, so I'm going to use that as URL. Append it to my file. Hmm. When I get SOL, I get this uh, application instead, so I'm going to make that the default for SOL. So I should get that every time. There it is. Also on my clipboard, I have an email address I'm going to be using a lot. I'm going to copy that to make it the top level of the clipboard. And paste that into Quicksilver and append it to my file. That's about the time I started working on my text document, so I'm going to use text edit for that. As you can see in my file, the default action for text lines is paste. So I'm just hit enter. And for images, I get the file action, so I seem to find the paste action. Well, I can see I've got a problem already that the image is too large for my document. So I can use another great plugin for Quicksilver, which is the image manipulation plugin. That allows me to scale images. So I'm going to make that one fifty percent. Now the problem we have is that in our text file the path of the image points to a different place now. So I need to change that in my text file. So I'm going to get the path of the new image. Copy it. Go into my file. And although it's an image in Quicksilver's Pain 1, it still knows that it's a text line, so I'm just going to change that to the new path. Let's just check that's worked. I'm going to use Quick Look within Quicksilver using Command Y. And you can see that the image is a lot smaller than it was previously. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. Let's add a little bit more text. And I'm happy with that at the moment, so I'm going to save that. Now, of course, I'm going to put this file into my project, for, project text file, so I'm going to do that now. Great feature of Quicksilver is you can drag icons into Pane 1. So that Quicksilver to use them. So again, I have to get the path and append it to my file. And there it is. I want to email that article to a colleague. So I'm going to go into my file. To make it a bit easier, I'm going to copy the file in Payne 1. Select the email address. And make sure you've got Apple Mail plugin installed. Go to Payne 2. I'm going to use the email item send action. Paste the file into Payne 3. And hit enter. Surely you should hear the Apple Mail program send the file.
there you go. Now I want to work on this project on my work Mac. So as you can see, all my files are in my Dropbox folder, the images in Dropbox images, the articles in Dropbox files, and the project file itself is in Dropbox projects. So I'm going to head over to my work Mac and just check everything's in place. Well, I'm on my work Mac now. Let's bring up the file in Quicksilver's Pane 1 and see if all my files have been updated. And as you can see, everything's present and correct. Let's open the file. And there it is. So we've seen that we can use Quicksilver to create a really simple yet powerful project manager. Contain text, images, URLs and email addresses. So it's been quite a long video. I've covered quite a lot, so if you have any comments or anything I didn't explain properly, please leave a comment on the blog. But for now, thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you again soon.